G'day everyone and welcome to Brushes with Beck. This is a art YouTube channel. This video today is a mixed media art piece that I did as a Christmas card for some family. So I am using watercolour brush pens and coloured pencil in this piece. And as you can see, I'm just laying in some colour here with the watercolour brush pens. I wanted to use sort of an underlayer in this piece with the with the brush pens and then go over the top just to add some final little details with the coloured pencil. It would have been nice to have done this all in coloured pencil but to be honest I was a bit short on time because this has to be posted into state so I thought the quickest way to get down some vibrant colour would be with my brush pens. And this is the only the second time I've used these brush pens if you've been watching some of my videos on my channel. My previous video on these is when I first bought them and the piece that I did with them then. So check that out if you're interested. So this bird that I'm drawing is a little scarlet robin. It's a native Australian bird. We get them around where I live and also where my family live that I'm sending this card to. So just adding in, like I said, those base colours. The wings are actually black but with the with the sunlight and the highlights there's a sort of a brownish tone to those highlights so I wanted to use that pale sort of sandy colour underneath to try and get some of that colour through. I'm fairly inexperienced with watercolour in general so I know that you have to really preserve your lights and work towards your dark areas and just layer up so that's what I tried to do with this piece and so it was a little bit of a a little bit of a learning curve in that regard and a bit of a practice still learning how to control it properly and I know that obviously watercolour brush pens are quite different to using just watercolour paint too. So as you can see I'm working in quite different areas and that's because you know once I've worked an area I have to let it dry before I can come back and perhaps go over it with the next colour or rework it or add in some detail with these watercolour brush pens if you try to add colour if you try to add colour using wet on wet like you can with watercolour paint the brush pen just soaks up the water rather than the pigment going down onto the paper so you can't use these for wet on wet because it just it just doesn't work the pigment doesn't go down so you have to let them dry before adding on the next layer now the paper that I am working on for this piece is the Fabriano Artistico hot pressed watercolour paper. This is actually the first time I've used it for anything other than coloured pencil. So it certainly got a good try out with that. It obviously held up to the water really well because it's watercolour paper. It did bubble a little bit in the middle where I really soaked it with the water brush but it flattened out again once it was all dry so that was fantastic. And the coloured pencil went on perfectly over the top of the brush pen once that had dried as well. So I didn't have any difficulties using this paper with either of these mediums or with these mediums together. It just worked as it would normally on this paper. So that was nice. Now, as you can see I'm being pretty loose and rough with this branch here. I didn't, well A like I said I was a little bit rushed but I didn't want to focus too much on the branch. I didn't really, it was not meant to be a feature of the piece, it's just part of the piece. And so I've really done that very loosely. No attention to detail there, just putting in some form and colour in that. Now once the bird has dried up a bit, I'm going in with the black brush pen there to really solidify in that colour and as you can see leaving some slightly paler areas where the light's hitting those blacks and just working those colors in trying to sort of finalize a few details with those blacks and bring the colors of the bird out before moving on to the colored pencil now the pencils that I'm using for this are the Faber-Castell Polychromos they work they're a fantastic pencil. I've used them before on this paper. I haven't used them over the top of the brush pens before like I mentioned but they had no problem doing that at all. And all I, I wasn't going in with a huge amount of detail. I just wanted to refine some edges and you know add in a few flecks of feather detail here and there. Some highlights, some shadows, some detail around the eye 
just to really finalize the piece a bit and make it look a bit more refined rather than just the loose painting with the brush pens. My first image that I did with the brush pens, I didn't use colored pencil, but once I had finished with the brush pens, I used a fine liner to outline the piece to give it a bit more definition because I mean like I said I'm not experienced with watercolor but I find that the soft edge of the watercolor just doesn't really suit my style and I just like it to be a little bit more refined at the end of the piece which is why I find it's nice to add colored pencil over the top plus the colored pencil adds a little bit of texture to those feathers which is nice you can get some of that detail in and the suggestion of textures just from the grain of the paper without having to worry too much about actual details on those smaller feathers. And adding that pencil in over the top I felt really really helped just to really make the piece pop a little bit more. As you can see I'm just working through the piece and I pay more attention to the eye detail because obviously I haven't done the skin surrounding the eye and that needs to be refined and tidied up and made to look much nicer than what it currently is. So I really enjoyed working on this piece. It only took me, I think, an hour to complete this. Apart from the sketch, I spent <laughs> I spent um, quite a lot of time on the sketch getting that right. But in terms of the watercolour and the coloured pencil, it was only an hour. Which, you know, I most of the time when I work on a piece with coloured pencil, that's you know, a 15, 20 hour piece because it did takes a lot of time. And that's why I use the watercolor brush pens because I wanted that quick layer in of color. And so these could be, these sort of pieces could be nice maybe for prints in the future because the watercolor brush pens that I have, they're not, they're not light fast, they're not archival. So there is a risk of those colors fading and changing over time if I was to sell the originals. But if I could, you know, do some of these pieces, they would make nice prints because the colors are vibrant but they are quicker to create. And I like the combination of the watercolor and the colored pencil too. Adding in some highlights on those black areas there with some gray pencil. Just really focusing in on those details there. Finishing touches. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of this Scarlet Robin using watercolor brush pens and colored pencil on Fabriano hot pressed watercolor paper. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and I'll see you next week for another video. Stay creative.